Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Monday of the 18th week in ordinary time, August 1st, 2022, in which we celebrate the memorial of St. Alphonsus Liguori. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Our first psalm is Psalm 42, entitled, Longing for the Lord's Presence in His Temple. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread, by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God, amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep, in the roar of the waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness, by night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father in heaven, when your strength takes possession of us, we no longer say, Why are you cast down, my soul? So now that the surging waves of our indignation have passed over us, let us feel the healing calm of your forgiveness. Inspire us to yearn for you always like the deer for running streams until you satisfy every longing in heaven. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Our canticle is taken from Sirach entitled, Prayer of Entreaty for the Holy City, Jerusalem. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as you know, that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. Our second psalm is Psalm 19a, entitled, Praise of the Lord, Creator of All. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth. Their words to the utmost bounds of the world, there he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like the bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To enlighten the world, Father, you sent to us your word as the sun of truth and justice, shining upon mankind. Illumine our eyes that we may discern your glory in the many works of your hand. 
The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. Our reading this morning is taken from the prophet Jeremiah. When I found your words, I devoured them. They became my joy and happiness of my heart. Because I bore your name, O Lord, God of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today we celebrate the memorial of Alfonso, Alphonsus Liguori, bishop and doctor. Uh, St. Alphonsus was born at Naples in 1696. Though renowned as a doctor of both canon and civil law, he left the legal profession and entered the priesthood. Subsequently, he founded the Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer. To foster the Christian life, he applied himself to preaching among the people and writing books on moral theology of which he is considered a master. He was chosen Bishop of St. Agatha de Gotti, but soon resigned his office to work with his conferees at Nocera de Pagani in Campania. St. Alphonsus died in 1787. Our Responsory The Lord fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him. Everyone who is a child of God does not sin, for God's seed remains in him. The Lord watches over all who love him. Our Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to repair, remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Our Intercessions Our Savior has made us a nation of priests to offer acceptable sacrifice to the Father, let us call upon him in gratitude. Persevere or preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Christ, eternal priest, you conferred the holy priesthood on your people. Grant that we may offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Father. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. In your goodness, pour out on us the fruits of your spirit, patience, kindness, and gentleness. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. May we love you and possess you, for you are love. And may every action of our lives praise you. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. May we seek those things which are beneficial to our brothers without counting the cost, to help them on the way to salvation. Preserve us in your ministry, Lord. Our additional intercession response is god oh god listen to our prayer god of the prophets you inspired your servant alphonsus to preach the good news to the poor in company with him we pray oh god listen to our prayer inspire scripture scholars translators and preachers and give your entire church a passion for living and spreading your word we pray oh god listen to our prayer cultivate in the hearts of leaders your gifts of wisdom honesty, and deep listening. We pray, O oh God, listen to our prayer. Strengthen the faint-hearted and heal those who experience depression. We pray, O oh God, listen to our prayer. For all those caught up in violence, remembering especially the people of Ukraine, that in this time of fear and conflict they may know God's presence, peace. We pray, O oh God, listen to our prayer. For a swift end to the COVID-19 pandemic that afflicts our world, that our God and Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us to persevere in faith. We pray, O oh God, listen to our prayer. 
for Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, parish ministers, parish staff, for Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to either our parish or the center, but especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may either be ill or who have passed away. We pray, O oh God, listen to our prayer. Let us now say the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray to his Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us, us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, you constantly build up your church by the lives of your saints. Give us grace to follow St. Alphonsus in his loving concern for the salvation of men, and so come to share his reward in heaven. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May God purify our hearts and lead us to walk always in love and truth. By the power of Jesus' name, amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed week. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.